Welcome to my lecture online. Here we're going to try to find the potential at a particular location due to the presence of multiple point charges. We have two positive and one negative charge. They're all at the corners of a square. And so on the fourth square that's not occupied by a charge, we're going to try to find the potential of that location. Now what's nice about finding the potential due to multiple charges is that the sum is simply an algebraic sum, not a vector sum like it is for electric field or for Coulomb's law. That makes this type of problem a whole lot easier to work out. So what we can say is that the total voltage is simply going to be equal to the voltage due to the first charge plus the voltage due to the second charge plus the voltage due to the third charge. And again, it's an algebraic sum, not a vector sum. So direction doesn't matter, only the distance away from the point. So in this case, this is going to be equal to K times Q1 divided by R1 plus K Q2 divided by R2 plus K Q3 divided by R3. Now normally, you would factor out a K to make things a little bit easier, but I'm going to leave K in there for each of the terms so you can see in the end how you just add up the voltages uh, that are uh, caused by each of the charges individually. So this is going to be equal to, and I need a little bit more room, I'm not going to put in the unit so to make it a little bit cleaner, so this is going to be 9 times 10 to the 9th, multiply times Q1, which is a positive 5 microcoulombs, and all divided by the distance R1, which is going to be from here to there, just one meter long, plus 9 times 10 to the 9th, and you know what? Why not just put in the units at the end here, so we know that's going to be in terms of volts. So plus 9 times 10 to the 9th. Q2 is a 10 microcoulombs, all divided by the distance. Now in this case, the distance is the diagonal line, so it's going to be the square root of 2. And then finally, and again, that's going to be volts. Keep forgetting to put the units down, might as well. So it's going to be volts plus the third one, which is 9 times 10 to the 9th, times a negative 8 microcoulombs, all divided by, again, the distance is 1. Let me put a line in here so we don't get confused. There we go. And let's put down volts as well. There we go. Now we go ahead and work each one of those out. So the first one is going to be, let's see, that looks like 45,000 volts plus the next one, that would be 90 divided by the square root of the 2, which is 63,640, 63,640 volts. And then minus, because the next one is going to be a negative voltage, which is going to be negative 72,000 volts. And then when we add these together, we get 40, so we get 45,000 plus 63,640 minus 72,000 equals, that leaves us with 36,640 volts, which is the total voltage or the total potential at that location. So simply what we do is we calculate the individual voltage contributed by each of the three charges, add them together, and that will be the voltage at that location. Notice the only thing that matters is the charge on each charge and the distance away from the point. And that's how it's done.